just confirm the sign is down. The unconstitutional we ID everybody sign. Yeah, where were you, you two? They're gonna they're gonna be you know calling down here, and I don't want you guys to be wasting your time taking a bunch of complaint phone calls. I just want some cooperation. That's all. Yeah, you're okay. What's up with this unconstitutional sign here? I, I didn't. I, I don't know what. It's we about. ID everyone. What's that? The Fourth Amendment of the Constitution says you can't ID unless somebody commits a crime. If they're requesting certain uh, paperwork, we we get ID. All right. Yeah. Well, everyone doesn't say we ID everyone who took papers, so. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, I didn't come up with the time. All right, I'm, I'm just asking. No, I understand. Because no, the people are going to ask me, so I, I want to give them an answer, right? Because I know what they're going to ask yeah, about that sign. People come to the station and they request a police report. That way we don't take and give the wrong person the wrong report. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. I just want to make sure that's all. You know, it's not a violation of people's Fourth Amendment rights down here. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good. Can I get a FOIL request for him? Yeah. Can I get one of those pens too, by chance? What's that? Can I borrow one of those pens there, real quick? Absolutely. Are you allowed to give me an incident number if I ask for one now to put it on this form, uh, or do I need is a photo? Incident that occurred, or yeah, an incident that occurred today. Um, it was called for the uh, public library called. Public library. Yeah, I can give you a time frame. Yeah, I can. I can grab that incident number. For yeah, you. if you can give me an incident number, I'll be able to put it on here. Help me out. Yeah. The complaint number? Yes. 22-001248. It happened at 202 hours today? Or 1402 hours, I'm sorry. And the address of that place, you need that? Um, no, I think with the incident number on here, you guys would be able to okay. pull up that phone call. Not a problem. I didn't know it was the incident number. All right, thank you very much. Yep. Okay, I called and left a message for her. She's the answer. So we'll see. All right. Well... Yeah. Okay, and if she doesn't, it takes a time. Yeah, we're just going to get a timestamp copy of that? Uh, yeah, well, we don't have a timestamp copy. If you just initial, it's got the time and everything. Give me a, hit throw through the Xerox and give me a copy, please. Yeah, no problem. Legally, legally not there? Well, hey, hey, I got like, a little problem with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a problem. Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't contact her attorney and say, is there a way you can get out of court to get it pushed off? Right. I, uh, I would hope you wouldn't lie to the court, but who knows? Thank you very much. Constitutional sign is gone. Down here to the, uh, pick up some foil. Got to pay at the clerk's office and go down to the police department to pick it up. Doors locked down here. No well, wonder you guys got no happy customers. You got the door locked. Yeah. Oh. We are pissed off too. <laughs> yeah. Um, I gotta pay for some foil to pick up at the police department. Oh, come on in. Fifty cents. Five fifty. Holy mackerel! There you go. Exact change for you. Good man.
you guys got the doors locked for a reason, or is it tax time? Uh, on lunch? Tax oh, time. Just trying to cut down on the people <laughs> that we're exposed to. That's supposed and to go. They're usually angry, so they're usually spitting. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. These things are cute when they have all these towns they have on. Can I get your name real quick? Here. Very thank Doing. Pretty good. Okay. Here, pick up some foil. Okay. Let's just pay it for. There you go. Thank you very much. Do you need anything else? Um, no, that's it. Thank you. All right, we'll pick it. Easy peasy. And that's foil. If you are harassing myself and my staff, so I'm I mean, you asking kinda. you to leave, and if you do not leave, we will call the police. What I'm going to do is I'm going to no, finish I am my story. This conversation right. Right now. I'm going to finish my story. On the no, rest of this not. quarter of this library, the you're calling the police because we had a conversation? I'm calling the police because you continue to speak over me and you don't. Who are you? I am the director of the library. My name is Margaret here. Arrington. All right, thank you. Are you leaving or are you staying? I got about 25% of the left to get a footage of what's available here. Gonna kick me out for talking over her. I'm calling the police because you continue to speak over me, to speak over me, to speak over me. Let's see if that's lawful. That's a lawful reason to kick somebody out. You have reached the Orchard Park Police Department. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. For all non-emergencies, please press 1 to connect to... Park Police Dispatcher, Andalina. Sure. 
Yes, hi. This is uh, Peg Arrington. I'm the director at the Orchard Park Public Library. Uh -huh. I'm just calling to let you know that we have someone that I um, need removed from the library. He is trespassing. I'm calling the police because you continue to speak over me. I think he just harassed our staff. Uh, how did he harass you? Well, he is in the library filming um, without permission, filming patrons without asking if he if they can do that, filming children. Um, he was confronted by the staff. He okay. um, gave us a real uh, ridiculously hard time and is thinking that he is going to be able to look at our um, our footage from our cameras as if that's not um, private information. And so I did tell him I was calling the police. I think he is going to leave, but he's going to continue filming his area before he goes, and he probably will not be gone before you get here. But okay. I want it on record. Do you know, we, do you know who uh, his, their name or no? Take a real close to listen to her answer here. She almost has a warning as if other libraries have told her about this action. They have a name for me, but she stops and then goes to ask for my name. I, I do have a name from, I'm going to just, uh, I'm just going to ask him right now. Okay. Okay. May I have your name for the police, please? When she says the word, can I have your name for the police? It's like she pulled up the magic word, like, all of a sudden I'm going to do whatever she says because she said police, like it's a threat, like the police are bad, like they're going to violate me if I don't do what she says. But when I say no thank you, the look on her face, she's just confused, like the magic word didn't work, I, I don't know what to do. Um, no thank you. Can I get a full request form? I'm sorry? A FOIL request form. Um, Freedom of Information Law form? You have a FOIL? Sure. Um, sure. Uh, he will not give his name. Okay. All right. And what is your name, ma'am? My name is Margaret. Uh-huh. Arrington, E-R-R-I-N-G-T-O-N. And could you uh, describe to me what, what's, uh, what, what he looks like, what, what he's wearing? Is he a white male? He is a white male, probably about six feet tall. He has a goatee type of long beard. Um... Here we go again, Erie County fam. This is the Orchard Park Police Department. They have redacted out a part of this phone call of the FOIL request. They edited out or deleted or limited the volume of what she said here for a split second, probably talking about a bulletin that she's got about the First Amendment audits that were done in one of the other libraries. But it has definitely been redacted out of this footage from the Orchard Park PD. Listen carefully here. I know this. Okay. Now he wants a freedom of information form, which I. And just like that, the Orchard Park PD faded out her volume and then faded it right back in. As you can see, we don't know what they say. We will have to appeal for unredacted footage. I will print for him. Okay. But he can't have it because our policy says. <laughs> Sure, no problem. All right, Margaret, I'm going to send somebody up there. And is he still inside? He is still inside. He's waiting for his form. All right, Margaret, I'm going to send somebody up there. If I can change this, call me back, okay? Okay, thanks so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.